Hey guys, so I've been asked, how do I keep track of my body fat? And uh, the answer to that is I use a body fat caliper. Um, to me, it seems to be the most accurate uh, way of measuring body fat other than getting it professionally done, which I believe costs like a few hundred bucks and I'm not really willing to spend that money just to get my body fat checked. So I bought a $6 uh, body fat caliper and I'll show you how I use that uh, so just a warning for this video I will be shirtless to get this done um, and then I'll show you how based on the readings I get the measurements with the body fat calipers how I uh, figure out what my body fat is and it's I would say it's about one one percent accurate so Let's say it says 8%, uh, it could be anywhere between 7 to 9% uh, in reality. But it's definitely a good way to get it pretty pretty close, pretty accurate, uh, especially for uh, the price of 6 bucks. Alright, so this is how I test my body fat. I just use this calipers right here. And then I measure skin fold from three different spots uh, on the body, being the chest left side of the abdomen and in the thigh so what i'll do is i will get a reading of the body fat or the uh, skin fold at each of those sites and then the sum of that will give me the uh, estimated body fat so what i do is i get the three uh, measurements add those up and then i just find it on the chart right here and then that gives me an estimate of what my body fat is like I said, this is probably about one within one percent accurate. So I think for me it said about nine, eight or nine uh, percent body fat. Uh, I think that's probably about right. I think I'm probably about eight and a half right now. So it's, it's fairly accurate. Um, it's definitely more accurate than those handheld body fat things that you can use. Uh, also, as well as the scales that you stand on. How those work is they send uh, an electric, um, send electricity through your body and measure how long it takes and what kind of resistance uh, it takes to get to the other side, so from one hand to the other. And those are just very inaccurate just because uh, there's so many things that can affect that reading. So it could be how much water you have in your body, um, the thickness of your skin, which is, it can be different between people. Um, so just not very accurate these this is definitely more accurate and it's so much easier and cheaper so i definitely recommend this over those um honestly you could even do this without the actual calipers themselves if you just grab um the skin fold and measure it with a measuring tape find that uh that measurement in millimeters because this is actually millimeters as you can see and then just add it up just like like I did with the calipers and then you would get you know if you just look this up this chart up online which I'm sure you could do for free you wouldn't have to go and buy anything and like I said that's it's pretty accurate so um, just to show you how to use the calipers uh, I take the skin fold which I can't do with only one hand but I take the skin fold and I just push these together until the resistance in the skin actually causes these two these two uh, arrows to meet and that's where I take my reading so I'm normally about uh, 10 millimeters in each position so it looks something like that ish um, and then again you just add those three spots up and that gave me my my average and then I or my sum and then I just use that on the uh, chart here so again, that's uh, how you do it, um, and that's the way I uh, suggest doing it. So for those of you that asked me about this, I hope that was informative, and if you like this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.